I had a request for uh, how I was able to fit everything that came in the food chain magnet expansion, the ketchup mechanism, into the base game box. So I will show you. Uh, first, before I start, I want to give a shout out to Vince Alvarez. This is 100% his idea. I could not have done it without him and the amazing things that he made to make this possible. So. I will open up my box and the first thing you'll see is these wonderful little player aids that Vince made. Uh, they should be on BJG in the foul section. Uh, so I got those. And then I got these player mats, and the, this is crucial. This is crucial for being able to uh, fit it all in one box. So you have the two sides here for the ketchup mechanism. Sorry, Adam, I need to redo these anyway because there's some errors in here. But um, I have the the, F, the base game side and the uh, ketchup mechanism side, and you can tell. Uh, which one is which on these again shout out to Vince what's what with these little ketchup bottles here to show which one is which one is which so anyway I got those and then I got the regular rules and which these need errata anyway so I think that I'm going to just uh, print them out again and make a smaller booklet um, but, and then this is, this is the actual thing. So, um, to give you an idea of what I have here, I have these dry erase markers. Um, yeah, I should have six in there, but I need to get more. Um, so these are for, uh, this. So, um, instead of using cards, I mean, I'm sure you've seen other dry erase um, solutions. In fact, I have old dry erase solutions. So you just go in there and you circle whatever milestone you get and X out whatever milestone you don't get and you're set. Um, so I have uh, a limited, um, it's less than comes with the game. Actually, I, I'd say it's probably about as much as comes with a base game because I know that the expansion came with more. But this is a fair amount of um, food, um, food tokens. And uh, I've never run out of food tokens um, uh, using this, rather. I've never run out of food tokens. Um, so I don't need the big ones, the big ones that come with the expansion to kind of um, give you more food tokens or allow you to do more things. And I'll mention in a second why that is. But yeah, so I have these and then I have just this many expansion food tokens. Now, why do I not have more expansion food tokens? Again, this is all Vince's idea. Um, if you are tracking, uh, so if you're tracking, say, how much you have of any one thing, you just put it on this tracker here, right? So I have eight uh, noodles or, or whatever you may have. And uh, that doesn't quite work for this. Like, I can't just have a few of these because these can be marketed on the board. However, the expansion foods cannot be marketed on the board. So uh, you don't need that many uh, expansion foods. All you need is to list how many you have and kind of ratchet them down um, as they get sold to the different, uh, the different people on the board. So that is probably the biggest takeaway is the fact that you don't need all that wood. It's a lot of wood that you don't need. Um, you probably don't even need this many. Um, but it's, it, it's, I guess better to have it not, and not need it. Um, but yeah, so this is the wood. And then I got my uh, BGG store kind of a 40 in there that I used to put stuff in. Um, this doesn't obviously work with the expansion yet, but uh, you know, there's empty spaces and uh, you can just put 
you know, any of the extras. Um, if you're using um, more things on, uh, on another little accordion, this, this serves fine for my purposes. So I have this kind of right in the middle there, right? And then I have, uh, you only really need the one um, turn order track. So obviously the one with the sixth player is the one that I have in there. And then I have uh, all of my player eight, or uh, player specific bags here. So we've got everything you need in a bag. So you have, uh, well, you can kind of see you have the turn order stuff, you have the restaurants, you have the coffee, and then you have uh, your uh, base game reserve cards and your uh, ketchup reserve cards. So everyone gets one of these bags, I just hand these out, and you're good to go on that. So those are the um, player stuff. So you have... Uh, the tiles, obviously, the tiles for the for the game. Now you can't um, stack all the tiles in one thing. Uh, I mean, you can. It will fit to the top, but to the tippy top. And the issue with that is that then you can't put this stuff on top and have it fit flush. So what I have here is a couple more. Um, not that many. A couple more just hiding underneath uh, this other bit right here, right? So then I have just more odds and ends. I'm not gonna open up each one of these things, but essentially this is, you know, just a lot of expansion stuff. This is the uh, marketing, marketing stuff. And yeah, you just kind of fit, you can fit all of that in there. I mean, these are just, you know, again, regular, regular bags that just, put in there nothing fancy and then these are the houses so I put uh, I put the regular houses there and then the gardens right on top right there and then that fits that fits there like so and I have the cards so the only cards that I have are the cards that I need to play the game so I don't need any of the milestone cards all of these all of those milestone cards are gone um, in place of this so you have these cards, which are all of the employees, and that fits perfectly fine in the box. And that's pretty much it. So, you know, we packed this all back so I can put this right here. So if you're if you're packing it away, it's pretty easy. You just, you know, you get the you pack up all the cards, you put them there, you pack up all the tiles, you put them there, put a couple down there, and then uh, you take uh you take your wood and put that in there like so, right? And uh, then you take uh, all the player aid stuff right there and put that like that. All right, and you can, I put this here but really you can put it anywhere. And then, you know, these can probably go like this or... Yeah, you can fit even more markers there. So I need to get a couple more. Um, and then you take uh, take the player. Oh, wait, let me actually let me put this in there like so. Okay. And then you take uh, your player aids. Right. And put those back. And then these on top. And everything sits nice and flush. Roughly. Right, perfect fit. So put that back on and you're set, right? Here's what you're missing out on. All the extraneous stuff I put in the expansion box. All of that stuff you don't need. So you got here 
all of the big all of the big wood. But yeah, no need for this when you're tracking using the player mat. Um, so we'll get rid of that. Here's some extra little wood. Again, I just took out some amount. Uh, I could actually fit all of this in 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 the box. It did fit. The issue is I don't really need it. Like I think I have more wood than I need actually. So I might remove even more. I want to test it out for a bit. And then you have your uh, your expansion foods. Again, you only need a little bit of this um, because you cannot market these items and you can track the rest. So you really only need six um, because you have up to six players who are each tracking their their expansion foods. Um, I have the old dry erase stuff that I don't need anymore. Feel free to buy that from me if you want. I have the old um, menu stuff in here. Again, don't need that anymore. And I have the expansion or uh, the milestones, both the base game and expansion milestones. Don't need that. And you don't need the money because if you're playing with paper money, you need to get poker chips. Um, you, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get too far into it. But if you don't know, if you haven't experienced the joy of not having to deal with paper money, I highly recommend you either get poker chips or play with somebody else's poker chips. There's no need to have this in your game. Um, I would, I would throw these out um, if not for you know completionist sake or. I mean, reselling it or whatever, but this is, this is useless. Okay. So that's all the expansion stuff that you're not using so much wasted wood and paper. Um, but yeah, so there's that. And there's, there's your food chain magnet box that you can take with you without a, without a problem. All right. That's it.